And welcome to math or daily math on week five. The first question says um, 800,000 divided by 800,000. Well, 800,000 divided by 800,000 is, if you said one, you guessed right. Good job. Uh, the next one says 20,000 divided by 2. 20,000 divided by 2 is 10. Uh, 500,000 divided by 50,000. 500,000 divided by 50,000 is 10. And 100,000 divided by 1,000 is 100. Number two, use the line plot below to answer the question. Hours spent reading last week. What is the difference between the largest and the smallest amounts? Well, the largest amount is... 9, and the smallest amount is 5 and a half. Well, 9 minus 5 and a half is a half, and then 3. So what I like to do sometimes when I'm subtracting is I like to add. So what's 5 and a half plus a half? Well, 5 and a half plus a half is 6, and then 6 plus 3 gives me 9, so that's how I got that answer. You could also do it the way we've been doing it, which is what we've been doing for math, and we've been saying 9 minus uh, 5 and a half, and then you're going to borrow from the 9, you're going to make the 9 an 8. Um, the whole for 2, or for half is 2 over 2, 2 over 2 minus 1 half is 1 half, 8 minus 5 is 3, so I still get the same answer. Alright. Write an expression for calculating double 2, then add 5. Alright. So if I'm going to double 2, then I'm going to say 2 times 2, and then I'm going to add 5 to that. So that would be my expression. 2 times 2 plus 5. Last but not least, we're going to round 5.38 to the nearest tenth. So 5.38. So I first need to figure out where the tenths are. Well, this is where the tenth is, then I need to point to the next door neighbor. Now, if my answer ends in a 0, a 1, 2, 3, or 4, you're going to leave it the same. If the answer is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, it's going to bump it up. So it, because it's here, it's going to bump up, bump the four, 3 up to a 4. So our answer is going to be 5.4. Okay. All right, great job, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye.